So right now I do have to do some errands like usual and I have to pick something up that I'm going to get my gun. I uh, ordered. It's pretty nice. Probably the gun you're going to shoot the most. So we are outside of Taco Bell right now. Taco Bell just released their loaded taco burrito. Live Moss. Yes, I'm well aware that means live more. So it's basically a taco that's inside of the burrito. And this is the official loaded Taco Bell burrito. Well, what do you think of it? Do you like it? It was okay. And you guys still have those cinnamon twists, right? Those are like the best thing yeah. ever. Oh my goodness. Can I get can I get a side of those? These damn cinnamon twists are straight up fire. Me, this rock star shit is life for me. These chicks don't even know the name of my band. Cringe yet? I'm just gonna shut up and not complain anymore and eat my burrito. Alrighty guys, so it's Monday right now and I got done editing the latest restaurant trolling video. Five pounds of tater tots, it's got pastrami meat, fried eggs, cheddar cheese, it's even got sour cream on it. <laughs> I got done with a 300 mile week on the bike, so that was pretty insane to accomplish that number. I haven't accomplished that in quite a long time. That being said, I don't plan on doing a long ride by any means today. I'm probably just gonna get out and spin for a little bit and I actually might hit the gym tonight. I hate running out of normal cereal, but this will do, I guess, for now. I don't know if I've mentioned it in this video, guys, but I've been having the craziest rides ever when I eat oranges, so trying this out again to see if the orange really is the uh, sacred food. That vitamin C, though. Just an FYI, I don't believe in speed limits. No, but really don't go that fast. That's right, baby. A few moments later. Three weeks later. Many hours later. 15. One five. Motherfucking repeats. So everyone, I surpassed yet another goal. You guys remember two weeks ago I did 12 repeats. I hit an all-time PR today and the hill that I train on by my house, I used to be able to do it, I would say about the maximum was like 10 times and I just crushed it for 12. And I have no intentions yet again today of doing something similar and even better than that. I've been training my ass off at this ride that coming up to consistently push yourself more than you ever thought you'd be able to push yourself is something I'm sure you can all relate to. I got to my 12th repeat today and I thought, man, it's getting late. I'm tired, even though I'm not tired at all, which is really, really surprising. I could even do more. And I kept fucking going and going, and I got to where I want to be right now. People may tell you that your own goals are meaningless, but that's bullshit. They're meaningless to that person, but not you. If someone tells you that or brings negativity into your life, rise above it. Stand strong. Charge forward. Improve them and yourself that you are capable. Well guys, I'm done with my ride. I was less than 500 feet away from 10,000. Damn it, so close. Oddly enough, I have no idea why I'm full of energy still right now because that was a pretty intense climbing session, I'll just put it that way. So right now I do have to do some errands like usual and I have to pick something up that I uh, ordered. Oh, oh.
Yeah, it's pretty nice. The 22 is probably the gun you're going to shoot the most. Yeah. So we are outside of Taco Bell right now. Taco Bell just released their loaded taco burrito. The loaded taco burrito is basically a taco inside of a burrito. That sounds absolutely amazing. The loaded taco burrito from Taco Bell features a flour tortilla loaded with a double portion of seasoned beef, signature seasoned beef, with red crispy tortilla strips, sour cream, lettuce, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, and avocado ranch sauce. Taco Bell defines the double beef as twice the amount of beef compared to the regular crunchy taco. The last little review we did was the uh, naked chalupa, I believe it was, or the naked, yeah, the whole fried chicken taco thing. It's time to live moss. Whatever the hell that means. The first impression, and it is the naked chalupa. It was, eh, not very good, let's just be honest. Hopefully this will be a lot better. Let's get us some Taco Bell. Live moss. Yes, I'm well aware that means live more. Hi there, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right, man. I'm just doing one second. Okay, so you guys have the uh, the new loaded taco burrito? Yeah. So it's basically a taco that's inside of the burrito? Uh, give me one second. And now, is this, uh, is this red shirt, beef, sour cream? Well, wh what do you think of it? Do you like it? It was okay. Okay. Uh, give me one second, my fault. Sorry about that. Now, uh, yeah, like, it was okay to me. It wasn't... Just okay, yeah. You know what? It's new, and it says limited time, so I, I, I'm gonna try it, but uh, it's... Can I get... Can I get that avocado ranch? Uh, can I get that on the side? And you guys still have those cinnamon twists, right? Those are like the best thing yeah. ever. Oh my goodness. Can I get Can I get a side of those? That's like the Shamalama <laughs> Ding Dong, and they're like, where would one come up with something that stupid? <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Take it easy, all right? Taco Bell time. And already, folks, I am back from the store, and I'm also back from the gun store, too. I am stoked, too open up my new gun. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the store. So I had to get some bananas. Again, I put these in the freezer and freeze them, so probably have to let those go a little bit more. Let them get more right before we use them, actually. Next, lettuce. I got, this is red leaf lettuce, I think. I uh, usually get iceberg, snap peas. I got new Greek yogurt. Uh, this looked good. I think I've had this before. I can't really remember, but it looked good. So I decided to get it and I had to get some more cereal. I've been going through cereal like crazy. I ate uh, half a bag of this today and then had um, even more of the special case. I had half the box of the special K and half a box of this before my ride today. So that's, I just, did I just call this a box? What am I saying? Oh my goodness. Uh, so I've had a lot of cereal already. Broccoli. And then I got some crab. I'm probably gonna make this tonight. And then, ooh, I've not had these in a long time. And yeah, this is like a comfort food for me, guys. I love sweet potato fries, so I'll probably have those as well. And instead of buying an entire new, I guess, well, few apples, I decided to get an entire bag of Fuji apples because Fuji is my favorite. I mean, it varies, but I like honey crisp too when I'm not eating pears. But that's pretty much what I got at the store, guys. So I'm just going to uh, get some work done and then start dinner in a little bit, and then I'm gonna eat some Taco Bell. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I gotta say, guys, it's my first 22, and I am stoked to go to the range. And alrighty, folks, this is going to be the Taco Bell loaded burrito. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a full on review for this, but it's a taco inside a burrito. We're gonna see what this looks like. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, but first, these little delightful things are amazing on so many different levels. I can't even begin to describe how amazing these are. That's delicious. So this is the double beef loaded taco burrito. Gotta say, it does not look too big, to be honest. So I'm curious, what do you guys think? Does that look like double the beef? What the hell's that all about? You gonna spin it now? I'm just really too hungry to care at this point. I mean, it was a dollar fifty. <sighs> about to give this a little taste test. I don't know why I have a fork, but I do. Well, why not snack on a burrito while your other food cooks? And this is the official loaded Taco Bell burrito taste test. It definitely does not look like double the meat to me, but. I'm just gonna shut up and not complain anymore and eat my burrito. Hot. That's hot, but actually, 
pretty damn good. I should have blew on that beforehand. Not bad. Not bad at all. I said this wasn't gonna be like a full review, I guess you can say, but the cheesiness of this is winning me over here, guys. This is, that's actually pretty damn amazing. What's even more amazing are these damn cinnamon twists. These damn cinnamon twists are straight up fire. I would say, as a kid, my favorite things to get at Taco Bell were the Mexican pizza, the cheesy gordita crunch, and these. And they're only a dollar, that's the best part. I'm more of a fan of just how this tastes more than the actual advertising of it. This was not a big burrito by any means, guys. I mean, it's actually kind of sad, but if you're gonna call something loaded and you're gonna say double the beef, at least make it a little bit bigger. Oh shit, I got you good, you fucker. I don't know, I should stop complaining. It's fast food after all. And that's the inside look right there, guys. I'm gonna have to give this one an overall rating. Sorry Taco Bell, it's gonna have to get a six out of 10 for me. We cannot forget the damn sweet potato fries. Clutch. And if you for some reason are not aware of how delicious imitation crab is just not in sushi, I implore you to go and try it. So guys, a big day for me overall in terms of riding. I'm just stoked that I got to where I wanted to be in terms of you know doing that much and being able to be capable of performing at that level. My ride's coming up in May and uh, I couldn't be any more, I mean, excited for it. I don't know if I'm prepared for it, but I feel like I've been putting in enough training now uh, to, to be able to, to perform at the level that I wanna perform at. It sounds so stupid, but I don't know what it is, guys, but every single time that I eat oranges before I ride, I have like the best rides ever. I feel like I'm a million bucks. I feel like I can fly up any hill. I feel like happy, I feel upbeat. I don't know what it is. It's so stupid. Just these like little things that you can tweak in your diet or your training and, and you think that they make the biggest difference when in reality it could have been uh, how much food I ate yesterday. I ate a ton of food for Easter. It could just be a thousand other things, but I definitely think that just tweaking more stuff in my diet does help me out a lot more. And uh, that's the beauty of all of this, is just fine tuning all of this and seeing what works best for you. Probably gonna have another uh, big meal before I go to sleep. 12 o'clock midnight. Well, box of wheat thins, my tub of peanut butter, and some oatmeal, of course. I gotta say, I've been liking my whole nightly wheat thin peanut butter combo I've been on lately. Works out pretty well. But uh, I thought I would show you guys a little day in the life and show you guys uh, what I guess I do uh, with my training and with my nutrition on just a normal day. Apparently this unicorn frappuccino has a shit ton of sugar in it. And by shit ton, I mean a f ton of sugar. Now this is highly, highly anticipated, I guess, well, I guess I should say highly, um, highly hyped on social media right now. Wow. If you guys liked the video, let me know down in the comments below. Of course, follow me on my social media if you haven't already. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go eat some sweet potatoes. And a target ball too, of course.